A dad is a son's first hero. Daddy t-shirt sets are available at daddyandcompany.com. Welcome to My Life as a Dad. Today's guest is Michael Zislis. What would be your advice, since you, you were a guy in the 20s who had two kids, so you have it, what would be your advice to the 20-year-old who's, who's just coming into it and he's like, oh, I don't know what's going on, my wife's pregnant. I think the thing that, that maybe I learned from having two sets of kids uh, was to enjoy the kids more. Because it's really easy to get wrapped up in your career. You know, you're starting, you're building your new businesses or whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, the second time around, I breathed a little bit. You know, I said, well, look, I'm doing all this because right now I think I'm busier than I've ever been, mm -hmm. but I found time for the kids. And, right. and you just got to find that time. You know, uh, I was kind of more of maybe a little chauvinistic on the first round. You know, I, I wasn't in the changing room as much. And now, now I'm the guy doing everything. I'm in the trenches, no pun intended. Jump you know? right in, right? Jump right in. Yeah. And there's a lot to do. Uh, it's not like, oh, here's a dirty baby, it's yours, honey. Mm -hmm. It's not like that in our house. So, right. And to be involved at that level r really is quite rewarding. You know, you think about the worst night, the baby's coughing, sick, throwing up, it's still the greatest night. Right. What are your travel tips? Like, I, 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 I'm imagining dad, mom, four kids, twins, stroller, yeah. Maybe a car seat. I don't know. How, how do you get to the airport? You know, it's uh, people laughing, taking pictures. People laugh because you know we we click on uh, some of the kids on the back of the luggage. You've seen those? You can clip on a car seat on the back of your luggage. You've seen that clip yes, before? Yes, yes, yes. So, Where you can pull it. Yeah. Right, so right. we'll have the twins in the stroller, the okay. double stroller, right? And then we'll have the other kids, and they won't sit in it most time. But sometimes you'll have a, a big uh, flight difference, like Terminal One to Terminal Six in an airport. Right. Uh, I know one time we flew to. Uh, to Mexico for the opening of a rock and bruise in Cabo, mm -hmm. and my daughter's passport was out of out of uh, date, mm -hmm. so we missed our flight, and we had to be there for this opening. So we had to go to the passport office, get the kid another passport. Who knows? Kids only get like three years passports. Right. And uh, my know. my wife and I flew down, and we were only to, able to get one seat next to us. So I had two kids, she had two kids, and it was miserable. You know, like some stranger sitting next to me and thank God the guy sitting next to me and on the way to Mexico was from Manhattan Beach and kind of knew of of who who I am and he helped out a bit he like kept his leg out so one kid wouldn't run out <laughs> it was a it was quite a flight I mean I remember flying once we went to the Super Bowl my wife and I just with the first baby we're like ready to board the plane and she says uh oh I pack the diapers in the luggage underneath the plane. I'm all, we're gonna fly? Great. Without diapers? So I'm walking around the airport bumming diapers, you know, off people. I'm looking for people with kids about right. our kids' age. Size. Hey, you got, hey you, got a, you got a four? I'll take a five. That's funny. <laughs> what would you consider is your parenting philosophy? Just spend time with your kids. You know, don't let them get wrapped up on the internet. Don't let them play with the iPads. I mean, I've seen nothing but bad things. I mean, i.e., they'll just act poorly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we tried the iPad thing. Educationally, it was wonderful. I mean, like, my son's two, two years old, and he knows his ABCs already. And he learned that from a program. But once you can't let him watch movies on it or, you know, you've got to set that up on the TV at a certain time of day. Maybe when the twins are napping, we'll put a movie on so Andrea and I can get a break on a Saturday or Sunday. But... You know, we try to keep away from those types of uh, devices. And you see it, you know, uh, now at the restaurants, owning all the restaurants, you know, they use, people use the um, little PDAs and all that mm -hmm. to entertain their kids, which I understand at, at lunch or at dinner, which is, makes sense. But uh, I think that would be the thing I would try to stay away from the most. And, you know, we uh, try to go away, like, into the mountains and camping and kind of keep them rooted in that kind of stuff that I grew up love doing. You know, I love camping as a kid, so taking my kids camping is really important to me. Any man can be a father, 
but it takes someone special to be the daddy. Please join us by subscribing to our YouTube channel. If you have a favorite celebrity or athlete dad that you'd like to see on the show, please give us a comment below. Sponsored by Daddy & Company, the perfect gifts for dad. Get 15% off your next purchase at daddyandcompany.com using promo code MLAAD15.